Joining us now, Ned Price. He's a former National Security Council spokesman, a longtime CIA analyst uh, who just resigned from the CIA with a very public blast at the Trump administration. Ned, thanks very much for joining us. So why quit now and why quit so publicly? Well, Wolf, let me describe to you what I saw over the course of many months. I saw a Republican nominee during a primetime debate just casually doubt the high confidence assessment of all of our 17 intelligence agencies. I saw a president-elect compare our intelligence community to Nazis. I heard him accuse the intelligence community of leaking. And then I saw a president, President Trump, on his first full day in office, travel to Langley, Virginia, presumably to uh, attempt to repair relations with the CIA. Standing before the most solemn memorial uh, in Langley, Virginia, a memorial to the 117 men and women who have given their lives in service to the CIA, he bragged about the size of the crowd at his inauguration the day before. That was all public. What was not public, but what was clear uh, to many of us, was the ideology and really the orthodoxy that this administration has maintained. I did not feel that this administration would be open to the kind of candid assessments, the kind of frank reports and analysis that, as a CIA analyst, I would be charged with producing. Your critics are already pointing out, and you probably know this already, that you did make uh, political contributions back in August to the Hillary for America campaign, $2,700, to the DNC, $2,300. Uh, you say your decision wasn't about politics, but do the political contributions say otherwise? No, Wolf. As, a, as an intelligence professional, I have never spoken out about my personal views. That is not my right. It is not my role. Uh, what I can do as an intelligence professional uh, whose work was governed by the Hatch Act was to donate to candidates who I thought shared my values. Uh, and I thought that Secretary Clinton did. Uh, Wolf, just to be clear, I joined the CIA in 2006. I worked proudly for President George W. Bush. One of the most memorable days of my CIA career was waiting uh, for what seemed like hours to meet uh, President Bush on one of his visits to the Central Intelligence Agency. I stood in line uh, just to shake his hand, and I was proud to do so because he was a commander in chief, granted not all of whose policies, especially on the domestic side, I agreed with, but he was a commander in chief, and I respected him, and I respected the way uh, he uh, kept our country safe. 